tough game. I mean, you know, Vancouver's coming from a streak of six games unbeaten. Um, we knew it was going to be tough. Uh, the conditions of the of the field, turf, we knew we were in for, for a challenge. And, you know, it, it goes to show you that we're on the right path when you come out of this game, you know, with a little bit of a bitter feeling, thinking that you should have come away with three points. Um, point on the road isn't bad. You know, we're still... Uh, adding up points, you know, we, we wanted three, but playing away from home, taking a point, I'll, you know, I'm happy with it. But like I said, it shows you that we're on the, on the right track when, when you're not content, uh, completely with, with not getting the, the three points when you know you had a chance to. Matt, pause with Burgundy Wade. Hi, well, thanks for the time. Um, congrats on the new clean sheet record. Is that something you've been thinking about or how are you reflecting on that given your time at the club and now that you've you know set a record that is relevant in measuring goalkeepers fairly or unfairly? Uh, thanks for your comment, Matt. But it, it's not something that, that's in the back of my mind or was. Um, you know, you have to give credit to, to every player that that plays, you know, for those clean sheets. You know, it's, it's credit to... The players who aren't here and contributed to those clean sheets to the players who are here now and and um like you saw today i mean you know guys diving head first into balls you know tackles 50 50 balls winning them and 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 it has to you guys have to give credit to to the the entire team and also the players who contributed to these clean sheets who aren't here anymore because it's a team effort a clean sheet is 100 percent a team effort um you know although i do you know, immensely appreciate your comment. I think, you know, we have to give credit to to the team as a whole for, for the, this uh, new record. Back to Matt. On that note, Will, you know, Andres missed a few games with a concussion protocol and then, you know, had a bit of a scare when he took a shot off the face. What's it been like working with him and what do you think of, you know, his performance uh, in the middle there tonight? It was, he had a, a, an amazing performance tonight. Um, Obviously, you know after after that injury, we we missed him, and um, but he he just shows you know the experience he has that that leadership on the field. He's very um, organized, you know. He has that knowledge tactically. He understands what what Robin asks of us. He adapted very quickly to this team, um, so it was a big piece, you know, that that they brought and who is who has helped us tremendously. Uh, between you and I, I wasn't too scared with that ball to the face. Uh, I've taken plenty to the face, and I knew he would be just fine. So, um, but it just goes to show you the character that he has. It goes to show you, you know, the commitment that he has, and um, you know, and it, it, it motivates me when you see guys, you know, diving face first into balls like that. It's, um, you know, it's it's good to see. Back to Matt. Well, on, on that note, uh, Anthony coming in. Second MLS league game in a row for Betasure. Um, how's Anthony done in his second year with the team? How's he growing with the team now that he's been getting more minutes recently? He's gaining experience. I mean, and he's he's proven himself. I think um, you know if he if he's played back to back games, that just goes to show you that the coaching staff trusts him. We trust him as teammates. Um, you know, some of us veteran players, you know, we have to take them under our wing and, and make them feel comfortable, help, help make them. He already has enough pressure coming into into games. So, you know, for us, it's just, you know, helping him in any way we can to where he feels most comfortably possible um, in the minutes he's playing. And I think he's he's done very well. Uh, exact same thing, you know, tactically, he's he's understanding what Robin asks of him. And, you know, he's he's brave. He's not afraid to go into challenges. Um, he's got the legs to get forward and, and help us in attack and also that that knowledge defensively and awareness, you know, to help us um, finish plays in the back. So I'm very, very happy for him. I know he's he's happy as well. And, and you know, as us veterans, it's, it's our job to take him under our wing and just uh, help him take it one step out of way to, to where, you know, whenever he keeps getting minutes and getting more experience, he feels uh, each time more comfortable. Obviously, a big part of your guys' style of play is controlling the ball and making sure that you kind of dictate um, 
the way things work when you have possession. And a big part of that is the player who's got his back to the other team, the guy who's facing you guys. And Connor's come in and, and taken that role by the throat since he got here. Just what does it give you guys in the, on that back line it's in the sense of confidence when you see a player who's capable of doing so much on the ball? And how much has it made your guys' job easier just kind of maintaining control in the back when you have somebody who's just that consistent in the middle of the field? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question, Patrick. Um, you know, he's been a huge addition to, to our team. Obviously, uh, you know, he's, I see a lot of things in common with, with Jack Price. Um, you know, and for us in the back, it's a huge relief knowing that you have someone who's always aware of his surroundings, who you know you can play a ball into with, with someone up his back, and he already has his next pass picked out. It's something that we work on, you know, consistently. It's something that every day we train, but it's it's a big relief when you know you have that extra player in the middle who um, who you can bounce balls into knowing that he's already picked out his, his next pass. He helps a lot defensively um, and, and he covers so much ground. I mean, if, if you watch today's game, I get, you know, the best the best view on the field to see exactly how much he does for this uh, this squad. Uh, I love his commitment. You know, another guy who adapted very quickly and it's it's very helpful for us in the back to always have an out in him and knowing that um, that he has that that awareness of what is a, and who is around him. And, you know, it, it just gives you that extra little bit of confidence to uh, confidence to build out of the back when you have a guy like him. Thank you. Yep. Back to Matt. Well, last one from me. You know, We've been talking the last couple of weeks about set pieces and what Robin wants to see more of. I know most of that conversation has been on an attacking end, which you're not a part of. But, you know, given – do you feel like the team's improving from a set piece defending standpoint? Do you feel like that was a – that was reflected tonight in what the 13, 14 corners that Vancouver had? And other than that one for Brown at the back post, most of them were dealt with comfortably. Yeah, set pieces is a huge part of, of today's game. Uh, you know, games are won and lost in set pieces. It's the reality. That's why we work uh, so hard on set pieces and we have, you know, the, the best per, per, uh, possible person to, to train it with, with, with Sharpie. Um, and, and obviously, just as we're aware of how we can win games in set pieces, we're also aware that you can lose a game in set pieces. And like you said, I think they, they connected uh, one clear chance of the uh, back post in the second half. And, um, you know, and, and we hold ourselves to a high standard on set pieces. And, and you know, fortunately, it didn't end in anything. But like you said, uh, guys were switched on. Guys knew their roles. Guys that came on knew exactly what they needed to do. And, you know, offensively, it's coming. I mean, we've created so many chances off of set pieces. And it's just a matter of time before, you know, they, they start ending up in the back of, of the net. And so we just need a to continue to to um, to work the way we are because you know both defensively and offensively um, we're we're doing well in set pieces. Brayden Morris, Denver Sports Magazine. Hey, well, thanks for your time. Just wondering, you knew tonight would you know kind of be a barrage of chances from Vancouver. So what do you think? of the team tonight, not only going up and making plays, like you said, but also just keeping keeping the shape and limiting chances that way. Yeah, it was, they're so front foot uh, Vancouver as especially at home. You know, they, they like adding and at high speed, a lot of the players in, in the attack. So for us, I think it was, it was massive to keep our shape behind the ball, to stay nice and compact and, and you know, try to feel comfortable in uncomfortable moments. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but, um, you know, being comfortable without the ball and in and in our shape, you know, trying to force them to do the things we wanted to, um, you know, you got to give credit to them. They, they found their, their chances, but I think we, we, we did okay in, in preventing them from, from, you know, hurting us. And, uh, I think it was key to, to keep that density in the back, uh, you know, forcing balls off to the sides and knowing that, you know, crosses were going to come in. So it was making sure that, you know, we were we were marked up in the box and, and guys did an excellent job. Well, uh, this is the sixth game of the NN League play and heading into what's potentially a very busy May 
seven games here and team possibly eight, depending on open cup play. Uh, what's your message to the team as a captain just to kind of keep the momentum going and, and staying fit and staying strong? And then also, what do you think this, this does to kind of the mindset of the team heading into, into such a busy month? It's going to be a busy month, but, you know, we, you know, we're professional athletes, so we, we just have to make sure that, you know, off the field, we're doing the right things. We're taking care of our bodies, you know, um, using all the resources we have to make sure that we're 100 percent fit and 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 to represent uh, the Rapids, you know, with pride. And uh, I think guys are doing that. I think we've shown it in, in the last six matches, obviously. It speaks to to the mentality of this team that you're on the road and you come away a bit frustrated knowing you could have gotten the three points. It speaks to the 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 commitment, the attitude, um, and the momentum that this team has going for us. And and we just need to keep it up. We need to, to keep doing the things we're doing. Trust the process, um, you know. And, and knowing that we have a lot of games coming up, it's it's just about doing the 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 right things off the off the pitch and, and like I said using all the available resources we have to make sure our bodies are 100% and ready to go each time we we get on the pitch